Okay, I've got some feathers here that I've been preparing. I'm gonna, I'm going to uh, flatten the front of this down so it'll lay flatter on the shaft. You can skip this part if you want, and just tie the feather down. It's, there's no, I really don't know exactly how it was done. I haven't seen the, uh, the arrows up close. I have seen pictures of this and I have done this type of fletching before. But I haven't examined, you know, the real ones in person. So this is just my take on the Eastern 2 fletch. I'm using thread. Just because it's more available for me right now instead of sinew. You just tie these opposite from each other. I'm just squashing that down with my fingernails. <clears throat> so it's flat. <clears throat> Relatively flat. I'll, I'll adjust it better here in a minute. Just want to get this started. Okay. Now these need to be opposite from each other. And I like these straight because you don't have to worry about knock alignment uh, too much because what these what these do is they, they line up with the uh, with the uh, knock it, itself. <clears throat> There is no knock on this piece. This is just a rough shaft. It's not even straightened yet, but just to give you an idea of how this is done. There's other videos on you on YouTube on how to do this, but I'll go over this. I had a friend of mine ask me to go over this. So I said, "Sure." I'll uh, I'll video my take on this type of fletching. I could stay in the frame here. Okay, I'll just tuck it in here so I can do the back. Okay, I just wanted to get those down. Um, <clears throat> these, when you have a knock in here, they'll line up with the uh, with the knock in this way the string will be like this It'll be one air, one feather on the on the bottom one feather on the top like that you can do it like this as well i mean it really doesn't matter i i just do it like this but you can do it any way you want really it doesn't matter now when you when you have the outside of the feather outward, you're going to get a little bowing of the uh, the feathers. They won't lay completely flat. You can wrap it in the middle to flatten them down. If you do it the other way, where the inside of the feather is facing out, they lay a little bit better, but they don't look as nice. It's up to you. So this is the shorter feather. I'm going to try to match these up. Okay.
And once you get these wrapped, you can pull them tight. Trying to mess with the glue here. So you can see it, it bows out a little bit from the shaft. We just line them up straight. You can put a little bit of a helical twist in them if you want. I'm going to wrap a little bit more around the front. to smooth out that transition there. keep uh, dropping down out of the frame. Sorry about that. Okay, so pretty primitive. You don't have to be perfect with this stuff. You don't have to trim this, but you can if you want. It's easier just to leave these natural. And when you have a smaller feather, you don't really have to trim this at all. I'm going to trim the ends off here, though. I've already pulled these tight. Okay. So that's just simple, untrimmed. Two fletches. I'll make some more up and I'll show you some variations in the next video.